In this next video, we're talking about how you can use a script, uh, you know, a .sql file that you can run from SQL Server from the command line uh, to update values in a table. Now, in this case, we're not actually going to show why you would do that. We're just going to show how to do it. There's a million reasons why you might do that. Um, it could be that you're resetting a database, you're in a development database, you're cleaning stuff out, you're setting stuff back to zero, so to speak. But let's, uh, let's um, open a file. And in this case, I have my update customer types SQL file. So I'm going to open that. Now, this will do the same exact thing as if I just typed this uh, right out right now. But the thing is, the reason why this is so nice is that you can save anything that you write in the command line in T-SQL to a file, and then you can reuse it later on. I'm going to comment out the second portion. And all I'm going to do is First of all, let me let me select all from customer types, and then I'm going to do an update to the CT modified field, and I'm going to set it to the current date, and then I'm going to select from this table again. Now watch what happens when I do that. Okay, so you see in the first example, CT modified was set to null for all these records, but as soon as I ran this update script, update customer types set CT modified equals get date. So it updated that, but as you notice. There's no where clause. There's no where clause in here. So what that means is that it updated every single record. Now what's different about that is if I were to do this, if I were to instead run this query, where we're going to select everything from the table, but then I'm going to update everything and I'm going to take the CT modified date and I'm going to push it back to null, but only, only where CT display equals individual. Basically what's going to happen is this table will look identical except this record, this first record, the CT modified date will be null because I have a where clause and I'm filtering what's going to happen. So as I run through this now, before we made the change, everything had a modified date. But in the second uh, record set, uh, the return results, the modified date is null because in this case, when I updated it, I only used, I used a where clause filtering it just on this record. So basically, that's how you can use a script, T-SQL code that you've saved into a file. You just basically look for it, you open it up, you hit execute, and you're done. Very handy.